we're going to look at dispatch, which is going to help us just automate some of the more mundane tasks that we do. Uh, and it can really be customized to suit a very large variety of applications. When it comes to dispatches and the automation of some of these mundane tasks that I mentioned, we're going to go through we're going to go through a couple of things here. I'll probably show three dispatches that I've put together. One of them is going to rename some files as whatever their serial number is. So I just flipped into my regular old vault view over here. And you can see that we have some data that's referencing a serial number. And just to kind of give you a little bit of a background on the situation, let's just say that this serial number, this metadata was there, and we've made the decision that we want to rename the files. We want the file name to actually match whatever that drawing number is. Okay, redoing that in a manual process, if you have a whole bunch of data, is going to be absolutely horrible. That's not going to be a fun task. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you is a way that you can let dispatch automate this for however many of these you want to run in a batch. And it's just going to be as simple as a right click. So I'm just going to right click and say rename these SolidWorks files with serial number. And the dispatch is going to do its thing and let me know when it's finished. And boom, there you go. This has been taken care of. So it's just going to pull wherever that number is. And this is configurable for any type of uh, variable that you might have in your card. You know, you can pull it from whatever variable you have and just customize the dispatch action to rename your files for you. So this is just a huge time saver. I mean, it, it could probably also save you from hiring an intern from doing this <laughs> and having them screw it up worse for you. No, I'm just kidding. I can talk about interns because I used to be one. All right, another thing I want to talk about is just bulk renaming maybe something like a description or, or some other type of variable. It doesn't have to be the description, but this is the example I'm going to use. Let's say we wanted all of these descriptions uh, to kind of match up with one another. Again, you can do that kind of stuff from a right click. So I can right click them, say I want to do a description update, type it in. I'm just going to name this example. And it's going to rename all of those files to where they all have this example description. So I mean, this is, this is just a huge time saver if you're thinking about doing this <laughs> in, a, in a manual type of process. One other that I think I'm going to show here is going to be the ability to, to sort of automate the copying of these files to an external location. So I already showed you guys what Web2. And I mean, that's going to take care of your, your external access, really, for the most part. But in some situations, I don't know, for whatever reason, so I've, I've worked with some companies that have wanted to offload some files to either a network drive or a OneDrive or a SharePoint or whatever. And you can do that with dispatch. So you can, in, in this case, I'm going to right click and say that I'm going to send this to, to OneDrive, I guess, is what I'll call it. Let's just call it OneDrive for now. It's going to run its processes in the background. We'll give it a second to finish up. And then I'm going to flip into this little external location. And you can see that it's maintaining the folder structure for me. So this is the folder structure where, from which I would have got these files from. So it came in and it just did an exact copy. This could be a, a network location. This could be a OneDrive, a SharePoint. Uh, you name it. But one of the other things I, I think is really cool about this is that you can also do a git from this location. Okay, so you could you could send this out to, to wherever, have some people make a modification of it. And then what you could do is you could say that you want to get these files and send them to PDM. So go to that network location or that SharePoint or whatever local or network type of folder you have. And you could say, hey, I want to go grab these and send them back into PDM. And this is running the processes in the background. That's what those windows that are flashing up uh, is, is doing right now. So you might think, well, how do I keep how do I keep up to date with what's what? Well, one of the things you can build into the dispatch is whether or not these are offloaded into the external location. So you can see that this little symbol that I'm pinging with my cursor say, states that these have been offloaded. It says yes. And then the upload date it gives me the actual upload date of when I push those out. And then this is letting me know when I did the PDM refresh. So when was the last time that you refreshed 
from that you know external location if you're maybe have somebody else who's working on them that's external to the company uh, so you can do this kind of stuff and you can see just to showcase one of those other files that I did not send uh, these flags and those date pieces of information would not be there uh, if I if I had not ran the dispatch on them so this is just a way that you can kind of extend that collaboration this is this is really niche by the way guys I'm not saying everybody needs this capability but for the people that do need it it's a pretty big it's a pretty big help